Hi all. For the last two sessions, we were checking on the TMAP uh, uh, component functionalities. How, what all are the properties and what all activities we can do there. So overall, we got to know that TMAP can do multiple uh, activities in itself. So we will explore few more functionality here. Uh, today we will check if we want to populate multiple outputs with the different transformations in different output, then how we can use TMAP component. So uh, this is the earlier job that we have already used. So let me just go through this particular job. So here we can see earlier we have populated employee ID, first name, last name, flag and full name. These were the columns that I have uh, populated to the output for the, to the output. Now suppose I want to have one more output. So how can I do that? And uh, I can just right click on it. Row a new output and uh, I'll populate the T log row. So when I connect it to T log row three, then it is asking me for the second, uh, uh, what should be the output name. So let me make it uh, as second output. Okay, let me drag it to below. Yeah, and uh, now I don't want these activities, these uh, T log row. Okay, so what I can do, I can disable some of the components uh, as and when required. If I don't want that particular thing to test it while doing any development, if I don't want to test that particular functionality, I don't want that particular flow to run. So I can just disable that particular thing. How I can disable that? I can just right click on that particular component, deactivate the component or the current subject. I want to deactivate this particular components so i'll click on that so now you can see it got disabled it will not run now so now so we have two output one is uh, first output and one is second output so if i double click on this particular t map row a uh, t map i can see there are two uh, output here so these all are the uh, values that i have already populated for t uh, for this first output let me pull the co uh, columns that I need for the second output. So in the second output, suppose say I need all the columns that we have in my input. I want to populate that in the output. I can select all the columns from the left. And I can just drag them to my output. Okay. And now suppose say, I want to put some transformation here on this first name. Suppose say, I want to do some transformation on this particular. Then I can just click on that particular and you can see there is one three dot here. I can just click on that. It will open a expression builder. So here we already have this uh, uh, first name populated. If I want to do some operation on uh, this particular column, uh, I can just see what all are the functions available here. Uh, let's see. Let's check for some talent string. Let's see what all are the options here. I can uh, click on a particular uh, category and I can see what all are the functions available there. Let me go to string handling. Yeah. So let me do one thing. If I want to make everything as uppercase, whatever the first name is there, I'll just make it as uppercase. So I can see there is under this string handling, there is a function called uh, uppercase. I'll just double click on that. Let, let me remove this particular thing here. 
from the expression i'll just double click on this uppercase then you can see the uh, syntax already came and if i want to check what exactly is the functionality you can uh, what is the functionality of that if you just click on that particular function it will show you in this help button convert all lowercase letter in the expression as uppercase okay so this is the functionality and how we will be uh, passing the value here you can see what is the functionality how we will be passing it is the up up case is the function and under this we would be under this parenthesis we will be passing a string and the written type is also a string <clears throat> So that is the uh, logic, uh, that is the syntax of it. So it's written type is also a string. So now you can see this is my uh, syntax here. So when you double click on this uh, uppercase, it is coming as string handling dot uppercase uh, hello. And I don't want this hello to get printed. I want to, re I want to make this first name uh, as uppercase. So I'll just delete this particular uh, thing and i'll click on this first name so that the first name will get changed to uppercase now suppose i want to change this last name so i can go to the string handling once again let me remove this particular function let me i'll go to string handling I have a function called a down case. Here you can see what is the uh, uh, functionality of it. Converts all the upper letter, uppercase letters in the expression to the lowercase. And uh, it is expecting a string within the parenthesis. And its written type is also a string. So here you can see if you double click on that string handling dot down case came. And I just need to put the appropriate column within this parenthesis that is the last name. So this is how I'll do the uh, uh, transformations, uh, small, small transformations here. Now, if I want to add one more column here, I can do that. Let me just uh, type length. Length. I want to find what is the length of uh, what is the length of the string that is uh, coming in first name. So I'll just make it as integer. Okay. So I can just click on this. Go to expression builder. Go to this string handling. I can see there is a function called len, which calculates the length of the string. What is the syntax within the parenthesis? It is expecting a string and you can see what is the output. The output will be a integer data type. So that's why I, what I did, I, the value that uh, I have in this uh, length f name, I made it as integer because the return type of that particular function is integer. So I'll just go to this string handling once again. I'll just click on that uh, len. So now the function came. Because it's a column for me, I'll just delete this particular thing and I'll double click on this F name. Then this came. Now I'll click on OK. Now let me run this. I'll just change it to tabular format. Hmm. So earlier what I have done, uh, uh, this T log row one I have disabled. So now you will see in the output, only the output for T log row two and T log row three. I'll not see any T log row one, which was coming earlier. Let me run it.
now you can see the first name I have changed this to uppercase. This is the original data that I'm getting it from the source. It got converted to uppercase. This is the original data that I'm getting from source, but it got converted to lowercase. And this is the derived column that I have. I'm checking the length of the first name. For each column, means uh, Samir, it has a length of seven character. So here the length is coming as seven. The Ravi, the second record is Ravi, which has a four character length. So the data is coming as four. Srinivas, Srinivas has an eight character length. So the uh, value in this particular column is coming as eight. So this is how we will be doing the transformations. So in this session, we checked how to populate uh, um, uh, different data into different flows uh, using Pmap and how to do some string handling functions, how to use some string handling functions and uh, how to do some transformations using Tmap. Hope this session is helpful. If you think the session is helpful and uh, it's fruitful for you, then please uh, like and share the video and subscribe my channel. Have a good day. Thank you.